Damn, this nigga got a whole goddamn. Got a whole goddamn. He really got a blog. He really got a blog. What's the overall message you expect people to learn from the project? Just to be better, you know what I'm saying? Because the show is about growth. It's a lot about, you know, how they, st you know, everybody start from here. So we all trying to get up here. So basically, in a, in a nutshell, that's what the story is about. You know, you're down, you out. You, you, you fucked up with your baby mama. You know, it's a character that just came home from prison that had a guaranteed NBA contract, right? But being around the wrong people, doing the wrong shit, got them locked up. So now, look, you come from that to somebody that's trying to get a nine to five. What's your baby mama think now, man? I just had somebody. Now it's, man, who you is now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Now you got to prove to her you still who you was, and but you starting back. Man. So everybody's just growing. This thing, this is a real life thing. You can have your, you know, it's going to be your comical parts in it. You know, you're going to have your parts that might be sad, turn up, but it's all real. It's just like everybody can relate to it because it's real. Yeah. It's about growth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's just. You, like, uh, what do you expect? people to get out of your role and everything that you get into the project? Um, with any role that I play, I always try to project what I see in myself in that role. Um, so I definitely feel like there are a lot of women out here who are in a situation where their man may be a DJ, he may be, you know, like he said, an athlete, whatever the case may be. So my role is kind of based around my man is about to take off and this is a change for us. So I feel like that's a part of growth as well, you know, how do you adapt to the changes that come with this money, with this fame? And I feel like my character was having a pretty hard time struggling with it, but you know, it's just something for anybody that's in that position to see and you know, get from that, like how, how can I move into this easily? You know what I'm saying? Instead of worrying so much, you know, sometimes you just gotta sit back and just roll with the flow. Uh, yeah. To, to me, to me, what, what I'm taking from it is like every everybody human, no matter what what you're trying to do or where you at, everybody got the same problems. And people sit around thinking about, oh, he this, he this. No, everybody human. Everybody got issues, and the difference is like some folk try to fix them and some folk don't. So I, I, that's just to me, that's that's the realness of it. You can you can sit and sit and salt, or you can got them brainstorm right. and fix. Right. Yeah, uh, that, that's how I see it. Be able to look in the mirror. And yeah, I you got I ain't shit. But why you ain't shit? I mean, you gotta have you gotta have that conversation <laughs> with yourself. If not, if you don't have never had a conversation, you're not gonna change nothing. Right. Yeah, gotta, especially if you don't got a solid circle around. Yeah. You. Right. You gotta, you gotta, all that sugar coat. All that yes man shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You gotta have people around that's willing yeah. to tell you you fucking up. Yeah, so it's just it's just real life. People go through shit and they want to fix it or they or they going through shit like for the better and still don't know how to handle it. But either way. Every situation got to be handled at the end of the day. Right. Good or bad. Is it hard working with um, other people to bring your vision to the light, or do you enjoy that part of the process? And so far, you, you hear how they talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like, it, it, man, we get together and it's just like, it's shit easy though, bro. Yeah, like, man. I don't try to sound, you know, a brag or nothing like that. Man, that shit easy. Because, like I said, for one, you know, I, that's, you know, I love to write. So then y'all get around people that love to write and create. I got a cousin, you know what I'm saying? He ain't here. Shout out my cousin Danny, man. He, mm -hmm. he wanted to make it, but he couldn't make it. But shout out, cuz, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We out here for you. But, um, man, I get with him some days, right? <laughs> you know, Bill Cuz, I got this scene, man. What you think about this? He be like, oh, word? That's what you using? Man, my nigga, look, this what you say. Then he gonna say this. She gonna say that. I be like, yo, nigga, slow down. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, let me get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's just easy. It's easy, man. You need the real life experiences around. Yeah, yeah. It makes, like you said, it makes everything easy. That's it's like the same with sports. Bro. Getting back into how you play sports. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like every championship, you gotta have role players who love their job. Right. right. You know, it's like the Bulls had Robin, yeah. love the rebound. Mm -hmm. You fuck by sport. Right. You got Jordan, you got Pippen, so. Makes the team. Team. Right. Mm -hmm. everybody, everybody got a position. Everybody got a part to play. Is it um are you is it your goal to stay in front of the camera or become more of a director? I wanna do both. Like I don't mind acting. But I don't I don't mind learning the camera either. Like I just like man, I just went into I ain't gonna say overdrive because we just now starting, but like my my passion for this shit is like strong, man. It's like I'm I'm happy doing this. Like it's fun to do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like in front of the camera, behind the camera, beside it. I will hold some lights. Do whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm turned for this shit, bro. For real. Same with you. I mean, yeah. I mean, 
Or you want to I, I can't say I want to stay in front of the camera because you know I've been in every area. I've been production manager. Okay. I've done casting calls. I have my own production company myself. So I've played every role down to the acting, down to the writing. So it's definitely, I love being on the camera though. I can't lie. At first it was strictly music, but like I said, I've gotten to a place where I love being in front of the camera. If we could film every day, I'll be right there every single day <laughs> filming. Because, um, I mean, that's my, yeah. that's my happy place, you know. Yeah, well.